Did you know refrigerators used to be dangerous? Refrigerants from the late 1800s until 1929 used toxic gases, ammonia, methyl chloride, and sulfur dioxide as refrigerants. The leakage of methyl chloride in several refrigerators back in the 1920s caused fatal accidents and people started leaving their refrigerators outside. Frigidaire, General Motors, and DuPont set out to look for a solution to this problem. In 1926, Albert Einstein and his colleague Leo Szilard invented a pump to replace the refrigerator's motorized compressors, but it never made it to the market. Instead, in 1928, Thomas Midgley Jr., aided by Charles Franklin Kettering, who were both working for General Motors at the time, developed a miracle compound that was non-toxic and non-flammable called dichlorodifluoromethane, patented as Freon-12. Because it was deemed non-toxic, it eliminated the danger compound. However, in the 1970s scientists found that the chlorofluorocarbons inside the Freon were actually not harmless as they had been marketed for years and were very harmful to the Earth's ozone layer. In the 90s and early 2000s, refrigerants with hydrofluorocarbons such as R143A were promoted as better refrigerants, which are one of the ones most commonly used in refrigerators to this day.